We live with Heavenly Father as His spirit children. This is true of every person who has ever lived on earth. You see, the names brother and sister are not just friendly greetings. They are an expression of an eternal truth. God is the literal Father of all mankind. We are each part of His eternal family. The central element of this plan was the promise that Jesus Christ would offer Himself as a sacrifice to rescue us from sin and death. Our task in that plan is to accept the Savior's sacrifice by obeying the laws and ordinances of the gospel. Families are the basic organizational unit of the eternal realms, and so He attends for them also to be the basic unit on earth. Even those with the best of parents may live faithfully according to the life they have, but never hear about Jesus Christ and His Atonement or be invited to be baptized in His name. This has been true for countless millions of our brothers and sisters throughout the world's history. Now, some may consider this unfair. They may, they may even take it as evidence that there is no plan, no specific requirements for salvation, feeling that a just, loving God would not create a plan that is available to such a small proportion of His children. Others might conclude that God must have determined in advance which of His children He would save and made the gospel available to them, while those who never heard the gospel simply were not chosen. But you and I know, because of the truths restored through the prophet Joseph Smith, that God's plan is much more loving and just than that. Today is April 1st. Two days from now, April 3rd, marks the 181st year from the day when Malachi's prophecy was fulfilled. On that day, Elijah did come, and he gave to Joseph Smith the priesthood power to seal families eternally. I bear testimony that Elijah did come. Many youth have discovered that giving of their time to do family history research and temple work has deepened their testimony of the plan of salvation. It has increased the influence of the Spirit in their lives and decreased the influence of the adversary. I testify that God the Father wants His children home, again, in families and in glory. The Savior lives, and I promise you the inspired help that you seek and need.